Hey guys, welcome back to Golang Tutorials. This is Jello DSM. So, uh, last episode uh, we went through setting up the workspace in Linux, and we are in, in this episode we will be dealing to set the set up the uh, environment in Windows. Basically, I'm not that fan of Windows, but still, uh, as we have to go through this, uh, we have to do this. So. And I have downloaded the uh, uh, Windows install file from Golang uh, website as you have seen it. I think it was uh, in the golang.org uh, in the install. Uh, there is stuff in the home page as so the link was there. You can download this binary or the installer. You can just install it. Uh, I, since I have already installed it, they are asking whether to repair or remove. I am not doing that because I have already installed it. Yes, I want to cancel the installation finish. So once you have installed, you can check whether it's uh, it's working or not. Like Go version, it's Go 1.4.2. So basically, it's the newest version of the uh, as per date. So I have installed that. Uh, now there is a folder structure for this uh, Go. I have sublime text. So it's, um, if suppose uh, as we did in Insta, suppose the workspace name is go suppose that you can put any name as you like you can put something go my projects go lang go lang project something and as the name you want even workspace is fine any name you can put there and but the structure should is defined it's like this there will be a source folder and one package folder that's pkg uh, i will explain what's the use of this package folder later usually we use that for importing like we make when we, we when we do some projects uh, we have to import some code the name which we import that code is in, in certain packages so we'll deal with that in the due course and there is a bin folder where the binaries like when we compile the code in the source for the src folder we compile those code those code will available in the bin uh, this is the things that we dealt in the same same things that we dealt the uh, Linux also uh, we can put some uh, we can make a folder here we can do it like this uh, and it's taking some time okay new uh, folder we can say name it as code also we can do this thing in command line also we can um, cd documents and cd go uh, okay we can make a directive go src that's an um, make directory bin be uh, one uh, make one directory named pkg sorry make a pkg it's fine also we'll just make a sample program here let's we just save it as hello dot go we can say package main because there's no other no other package depending on just main package so and um, and just to import name we can just um, fmt of my bad of this is insane uh, that, that these are some things that i really hate about sublime okay then uh, func func is the keyword of uh, keyword uh, for function in golang so we just use fmt.println uh, hello windows and that's apt windows so that's it we'll just try to run this mm, yes go mm, go run uh, loaded go hope it was hello windows so basically the program works we just mm, uh, go into deep of this um just make something like this uh, cd go then cd src and we will make another folder mk make i'm sorry mk make directory which one we want my this thing is jello i'll make a username for jello uh, dsa sorry we'll make something called git github.com and cd itm.com and we'll make make directory 
try to run the old command you can just try to run it it's fine so we'll just make go install sorry install location should be hello do you say now you have so oh, okay we haven't set that oh, is there some problem uh, all right in package hello i think there is some uh, issue burning down in here i will just maybe we can just set it like this uh, this is uh, this are some pro oh we haven't set the go path those things uh, also there is another thing that um, i i want to tell first of all we need to set the um, uh, set uh, uh, environment variables Uh, i have already set the system environment variables uh, we, there is no problem uh, associated with it e even if you make i have already made a go path here also go root uh, go root will be available when we install the uh, compiler and after uh, after setting the go path the things won't work the way we want we just, you just shut down the computer or restart the computer then you again run this thing only then these things used to work i don't know why maybe uh, maybe that's a problem with this uh, but uh, uh, that's the thing i wanted to say but here there is another problem i think uh, we'll just make some exceptions here yeah, yes go here just just put it here i don't i don't know why but this things just don't work i guess this um let's see the load is a hello and let's try again this command yeah now it worked i i i don't know what's the reason behind it because uh, this go down really make things easy for us and also now and the next thing now the thing is installed like we have run the pro program that it's like this running it but to install to get the executable of this file let's say hello world file have to go through the this location bin there is a hello here you can just uh, don't know <laughs> like that you can just go here cd and it will work but we won't see it, it will escape soon so we just is our cs go behind and into the bin folder and hello hello minus so it works so we made the application that's how we can set it this thing so so basically we are done with doing this stuff uh, the only thing difference is that we can't just put github.com here i, I don't know I, am, i i couldn't really do that those things also after setting the environment you have to set restart the computer it will work that way so that's all about setting up the environment in windows that's it thanks guys stay tuned in the next episode we will be dealing with uh, setting them we will go through the basic program and how those things work okay thanks guys love and peace